So day one, we learned the vocabulary word indebted, which means owing a gratitude for a service or a favor. And once again, we use vocabulary words uh, either as something you can add to your own vocab. I have a lot of European friends who are trying to learn English and learn certain words, and I have a lot of English friends who do not have a very diverse vocabulary or not quite as verbose. Uh, so this will help improve your lexicon. Or if you already knew what the word was, then you just need a reminder to look at it, and perhaps seeing it will make you uh, add it to your vocabulary. That's special too. So we have that. We were looking up Shinto gravesite incense. It is part of the Japanese uh, religion for Shinto. We have the snip dog section. A uh, snip dog was someone who followed during the Arv raid, which by the way, Arv, thank you very much for that. Uh, and just for him, he was asking, you know, what is the educational stream about? And he saw the two items for indebted and Shinto and asked, you know, what else can we learn about? And I said, well, Kamurocho is a uh, fictional location here in the game Shinmu 3. And it represents uh, Shinjuku Tokyo, which is a red light district of Kabukicho, which really exists. And it actually is a red light district where the Yakuza tend to hang out. So it's nice they included that in the game. And we had a user in here named Drangden who explained uh, two Japanese words, Izumi and uh, Shiro. And uh, actually, we'll change the way that looks. It looks goofy with the double quotation marks. And let's change that. Buya and Buyakasha. There we go. Uh, Yakuza 3. Yes. Sorry. Uh, yeah. So Izumi means spring in Japanese, and Shiro means white, and both of those are actually names of children in the orphanage that uh, Kiryu is looking after. And then Goya, which is a bitter melon found primarily in Okinawa. So in case you're new here, VGTN stands for Video Games Taught Me, so we use video games as a foundation for learning to see what we can learn out of it in terms of grammar, culture, history, any sort of education.